Hey Thumpers, Super Friends, welcome to the first trailer reaction from Hyper RPG. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Hector Navarro. I'm here with Adam Lavick. And we're going to watch the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now this is going to be one of many trailer reactions coming from Cineverse, from Hyper RPG, mm -hmm. the little umbrella uh, brand. And uh, we're going to mix this up. There's going to be a lot of other people jumping in on these trailer reactions. It's just me and Adam right now. Right but now it's just us, but we've got a whole family of people that are going to be coming on here and doing a bunch of different trailer reactions. This is the superhero reaction yeah. to Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah. we thought, what better way to do it? What better way to kick this off than with us? Some of this crew. And we're going to be trying a bunch of different stuff, yes. a bunch of different shows. We just had a little powwow just now, seconds ago, that I'm really excited about. So we got a bunch of different stuff uh, in the pipeline, but we thought we would start it off, kick it off with something you might be a little familiar with. A, little a, re tingles, tingles? a reaction to a superhero movie trailer. And we're going to hit that uh, with you guys uh, right now. Yeah, so let's talk about expectations really quick. Okay. What are you kind of hoping to see in this trailer? Ego, the living planet. Ooh. Kurt Russell, I feel like in the trailers up to this point. I haven't seen this trailer yet. You haven't seen this yet. No. We, we We've jumped, been waiting we, for we, this moment. We skipped out when we did our Cineverse proper show. Yes. We had Erica and our guest Pooch, and I think Dustin and Zach jumped in to watch yep. it, but we haven't seen yep. it yet. No. Um, uh, Ego, the living planet. Like that whole, that, wow, what a crazy mm. concept. Yeah, I mean, and anything. if we know anything from these Guardians of the Galaxy trailers, cut extremely well, excellent music choice. Uh, and it's always a good time. It's always a good laugh. Yeah. I heard I heard that the teaser of the trailer was hilarious. Okay. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is. So okay. without further ado, let's watch this trailer. Okay. All right. Here we go. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. Is that a rifle? You don't know what a rifle looks like? It's just swords were your thing and guns were mine. But I guess we we're both doing guns now. I just didn't know that. Well, that's intense. <laughs> of course. So good. Of course. I see it within you. Fear. Jealousy. Betrayal. It is our duty to cleanse the universe of this weakness. Jesus. You know, they told me you people were conceited douchebags, but that isn't true at all. Dude. Uh, I'm using my wrong eye. Dude, put your seatbelt on. <laughs> so we're saving the galaxy again? Yep. Awesome! We're really gonna be able to jack up our prices for two-time galaxy savers. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> like a meta commentary on <laughs> the makers of the movie. Yeah. So. Oh, what? Oh my god. What? Yeah. Oh, here we go. So cool. Sometimes the thing you're searching for your whole life, it's right there by your side all along. You're right. <laughs> all you do is yell at each other. You are not friends. We're family. No, we're family. Oh, get out of here. Except maybe her. <laughs> So good. After all these years, I've found you. And who the hell are you? I'm your dad, Peter. Oh! What a good, uh, Damn. great ending. What a great ending. I'm your dad, Peter. Oh, man. All Kurt right. Russell. So, come on. Come on. Shit. That's great. Baby Groot. <laughs> When he waved and Gamora was like, hi. Like, and it was so genuine. Like, I'm like, I love Gamora. He's I love such Baby Groot. A child. I love Baby Groot. He's such a child. I'm in love with Gamora. I love Baby Groot. Yeah. I love Gamora. Like, that's so great. Oh, man. Visual, I mean, visually, you can see that now that I, I'm assuming that they probably. What are you going to say? That they have a budget now? Is I that mean, what you're about to they say? have a bigger budget. I hope oh, so. Oh, man. I mean, it looks great. Gorgeous. I think it's, it's taking all the elements that I think we loved about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. And just doubling down on that and elevating that to a whole new level. It makes Marvel Cinematic Universe on Earth seem boring and bland and gray. I'm I want to like, be I there. I want to be in space. I, I want to be, be in space the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be in some 
gray airport and see my superhero friends beating the crap out of each other. I want to be in the United States of space. <laughs> Come on. And I think the unique thing that Guardians of the Galaxy does is the fact that it brings these these like unique and diverse characters in the first movie, puts mm-hmm. them together into one, and now we're bringing in Mantis. <laughs> We're bringing in Nebula, Yondu, Yondu. And yep. it's like it's now it's adding on to that roster of cool characters. Yep. Yondu for me was such a big standout uh, in, in the first, first movie. movie. Yeah, he was great. So Michael Rooker, so Michael Rooker was incredible. Uh, mm-hmm. And Nebula, you know, was a character that I feel like didn't get as much to do, but still I great. She, and, Karen Gillan, so, fantastic, still great. And I think she'll get so much more to do in this movie. And it seemed like Mantis they were giving awesome more too. for Gamora. Yeah. To do in terms of the action side and the fact that her and Peter might be developing a romantic mm. relationship, which like, if you are thinking to yourself, oh, I didn't want to see so that. You're so embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do me, bad. do me. I love the idea that Peter Quill and, and Gamora get together yeah. because they're such opposites mm-hmm. because she is... It's a lot of this. And by this, it, I don't and, mean sexy. Yeah, but there is a lot of sexy. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they're super gorgeous people, but like in the comic books, they've had kind of this up and down relationship as well, yeah. where it's just been just physical, and it's you know, it's, they're really really interesting characters. It's 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 kind of like a will they won't they mm-hmm. sort of a thing, uh, because she is so she had such a tough life and upbringing that to like maybe consider like being in a relationship with somebody mm-hmm. is is counterintuitive to everything that Gamora is about. Yeah, and then be and you know and and settling down with somebody. <laughs> Is counterintuitive to everything that we've been told that like sleeps around a lot. Right. Peter Quill is all about. Right. So to ha- to have those two characters maybe be a romantic yeah. like subplot in the movie, that's cool. I Absolutely. love them. They're oh, so great. I love yeah. the Guardians. Then, obviously, you have you have Baby Groot, which we talked about. You've got Rocket Raccoon, which amazing. Like Bradley Cooper, I amazing. Mean, in the first, it's it's that whole concept of like, can we really do a movie with a talking raccoon and a talking tree? James Gunn mm-hmm. nailed it in the first movie. He's coming back. He wrote and directed this. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be another hit. I'm and super Drax. excited. And Drax was Drax, just like... Dave Batista. Yeah. The stand I mean, I, to me, Dave Batista was kind of like what Hulk was in Avengers, what J- the Joker was in The Dark Knight. Unexpected surprise Unexpected that you're surprise. like, damn, I love this character. And he looks funnier in this one. Like he's, he he looks like he's flexing more comedic muscles. Yeah. And that dude is awesome. And I think, and I think as an actor, you know, stepping into a role for this sort of a big budget movie, this overall universe... It's intimidating. Yeah. You're taking a big chance as an actor. That could have been Jason Momoa. That could have been, yeah, exactly. And it's Crazy, like, right? You're taking a big chance as an actor, and the filmmakers are kind of taking a chance on you, but if you believe in them, they'll believe in you. Yeah. And it paid off in spades in the first movie, so yeah. I, and, and I think in this, it will pay off just as much, if not more. <sighs> I cannot wait. Like, I, I'm going to hold off on rewatching the first Guardians until, like, right the before. week before, yeah. and then just pop that in and just fucking, I love that Watch, movie so much. Start that movie at four. It yeah. ends at six, and then and at six thirty, you walk into the theater. Yeah, Ugh. oh, uh-huh. so good. So I like good. it. Uh, so excited! We cannot wait to see Guardians of the Galaxy May fifth. It's just around the corner. Uh, before we go, Hector, where can everybody find you on the find internet? Find me on the internet at Hector is funny, and I'm on a bunch of hyper RPG shows, including. But not limited to. Uh, I'll just promote um, uh, Indomitable. If you like superheroes, check out Indomitable. It's a hero clicks role playing show with uh, myself, Cameron Rice, Erica Lindbeck, and TV and movies own Scott Porter, mm. aka Rex Racer, Hello. aka the voice of Damian Wayne in the upcoming Injustice game. He's Damian Wayne. That's awesome. That's so cool. He showed me a, like the announcement trailer, and he's like, "I can finally talk about it," and it was so cool. So I couldn't get a beta code for that thing to save my life. It was Ooh. impossible. Everybody's trying. I see Everyone's you, Ryan. Trying. I see you, Unicom. <laughs> trying Ryan to get the, got it. And you got it. Any of them codes? Hey, <laughs> sorry. So uh, check that out. That's on, Monday's uh, 9 p.m. Sorry, uh, Monday's yes. 9 p.m. Pacific. And then I'm here on Cineverse Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Myself, Hector, Augustine, and Erica Ishii. We talk about all sorts of movies, and we're going to continue doing so. And uh, we may be doing something other superhero related. So make sure you guys tune in. <laughs> make sure you guys tune in. HyperRPG, YouTube.com slash HyperRPG. Also, 70 hours worth of live programming, Twitch.tv slash hyper rpg that's where you can watch us live do all of our shows and uh, it's a whole lot of fun very mm-hmm. community driven and uh we're very proud to be a part I'm of this excited, team man. it's and, so good uh, to be so home excited. so good so, so good. good to be home <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys in the next video 